to a brother named Ish, making bad music with Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help. Today we're actually taking a step back in time. Um, we're going to be reviewing a new model of the mini keychain spy camera. Um, looks like a car alarm, but it actually has, can take pictures and shoot video. Now, this is the newer model. I'll get to that in just a second. Originally, about five months ago, I won two of these on eBay. I think they're about $12.50 each. And it has 8 gigabytes built in to this model. Okay. Well, I pulled my keys out of my pockets one day and the little orange light was on and I couldn't get it to go off to save my life. I hit the reset button. When I plug it into the USB and unplug it, it would go off. But as soon as you hit the power button, that's all it does right there, as you can see. And that's all it ever did, basically. I think I shot about four videos on the first one before it, it went defunct, belly up. So I started using the second one, and it lasted about two days longer. And I pulled it out of my pocket one day, and the orange light was on. So even from the beginning, I kind of suspected that either there's a memory issue or it's poorly constructed. Anyway, I was pretty much fed up. The, the seller said I could return them, and... They would send me new ones, but you're looking at a two-month round trip, and I just said forget it, so I threw it in my junk pile. I charged this one up for a few minutes just so you can see the the defect in it. You know, I mean, no matter what I do, there's, I mean, this thing is locked up. And reset um, just resets the power. As soon as you hit the button, it locks up again. So I, my original review of this product, I bagged the hell out of this. And as far as this one's concerned with the built-in memory, as far as it goes, garbage okay so today I receive a package and I, I was utterly shocked because when I saw this I was like oh god here we go again this is the last thing in the world I want to see well I came upstairs and you know I started kind of playing around and I pushed the button on here to turn the power on I notice it does have a, a slightly smaller LED which is nice it's not so visual um, but the orange light started flashing at me and kept hitting the buttons and it was like great this thing doesn't work either You know I can at least turn the power on and turn the power off So I started inspecting more closely and oh I discovered that on the side of this unit. It actually has a uh, micro SD card slot Which immediately caught my attention so I took a little 4 gig micro SD card that I have and put it into the side of this unit you have to kind of position that just right to get it to spring in there so locks into the side of it like that right there so apparently a distributor has seen my video bagging this product on YouTube and has sent me a new model that actually has the card slot so this contains no internal memory you use a micro SD card in this unit and it seems to have solved the issue of the unit freezing up and crashing. I think it probably was a memory issue before. So once I figured that out and put the card in, turn the unit on here, and when the light comes in to go solid, you hold the button down there for a second and when it starts flashing a few times, now you're recording. So the video quality on this, I'll kind of point it around here and try to add this into the video so you can see what's going on there capture some video for you there so you can kind of see the quality my room is pretty well lit up as far as shooting this video right now but if I go around the room you can kind of see you know what's going on there so and then when you're done I try to push the button um, up here but it doesn't really respond so I hold down the power button for a second and then the unit shuts off and it ends the recording so I've been playing with this for a couple of hours now or so and I've kind of put it through its paces and I have to say the the new uh, micro SD the TF slot here on the side is probably going to make the whole difference in the world so uh, this distributor has obviously sent me this product to try to change my mind and uh, I'm gonna have to say I like this product so the old one with the built-in memory it just had too many inherent issues but I think the addition of the TF card slot on the side is proper um, this is going to boost this product. Um, also, the price has come down. Originally, these went with the memory built in, went for twenty to thirty dollars, and then they dropped down to twenty, and then fifteen. And I picked up those two for like twelve fifty each. Well, this unit without any memory is less than 
ten dollars it's about nine nine dollars and change I'm sure you could find it cheaper maybe a little bit more depending on where you look but you do have to add your own uh, micro SD card which is fine by me you know I would prefer to have a good solid uh, card high quality card in there anyway so and that came with a little USB cable so you plug the USB cable in if you take the card out um, it will pretty much it just goes directly into a charging state and if the cards in it activates through the USB so when you plug it into your computer you can watch the videos and transfer the files and everything and um, so when you plug this unit into the USB it's gonna light up and it's gonna charge and I think when it's done charging the light will go out um, that's how the other unit worked for a couple of days before it went belly up on me so um, I am going to test this product some more and um, you know hopefully I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good review for now but if it if it fails within the next week um, somebody's in for it because you know a lot of people have reported back that theirs works fine I'm curious if they're using the internal memory or the TF card I think this is a much better design on this so um, anyway I just wanted to do another quick review I think the distributor has probably changed my mind because I do like the design of this one thing I don't like is the thin hollow plastic sound because um, also I changed out the little lanyard thing I put my own lanyard on there but when it's connected to my keys that hollow sound drives me nuts it's so loud you know it needs to be more of a kind of a soundproof sound state whatever um, design or maybe thickened up on the plastic a little bit or something like that so um, but yeah I think I'm I'm gonna dig this product now hopefully it's gonna last me longer than a week like I said if it does you know I'll, I'll give this product probably um, I'd say right off the bat because the battery life is supposed to be an hour to an hour and a half if that holds true I'll give this product uh, a 9 out of 10 if the battery life is less it's going to be an 8 out of 10 and if it crashes completely I'm going to remove this video review and I'm going to post another really nasty one so we'll see I'm going to play with it for over the next week but if you guys have one with the TF card slot then post your comments and uh, if this video helped you guys out in any way, please post a comment. And if not, Pogue Mahone. And as usual, thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help. Yo, check it. God gave skills to a brother named Nish.